Welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look on one of the easiest ways to create the automated backup from one Windows computer or several Windows computers to a NAS. Now this is the latest model from Asus Store, the 3304, but you don't need this model. Actually the free software from Asus Store allows us to create a backup from this computer to this computer or this computer to other devices like other computers that we have. So if you want to start playing around with it, you don't need to actually get an Asus Store at this moment. You can play around, you can create your backup, so then later on decide if this is the model for you or not. Sounds interesting? Let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below okay so we have the asus store 3304 as i mentioned and although the review is on its way let me show you the dashboard in case you don't know i believe that you already know the dashboard from asus store in case you don't i will leave some links down below for other nas units and if you are thinking about purchasing one this is the latest model but check out the previous model because when a new model comes out prices usually decrease a little bit and it might be a good deal so just have that in mind because it's a powerful device now in terms of the dashboard i will just show you right over here which is synchronizing i just did set it up and show all that info with you when i do share my review but for today's video we don't need nothing we don't need the web interface we just need to download the asus store app which i will try to leave a link down below or if you go to asus store website you will find the app available to download on the downloads page so once we install the asus store app we are ready to start using now there is one other thing which i would like to share right now which is if i go to my network i already have here the asus store 3304 generation 2 and we also have the 24 terabytes full ssd link down below for the full review just in case you want to check that out but if i want to start um, using the folders inside my personal cloud what i can do for example i can come to this folder right here which i already created one but i can create another folder and just say data and there we go everything that i put inside this folder named data will be right over here using raid 5 so even if one of the hard drives fail I'm safe with my data. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now let's get back to the software, which you can use, as I said, without the Asus Store. Now, if we go to the create section, we will find Asus Store Nash, which is the backup that we are going to use. But if you want to test out with your computer, you can just use the local PC. Or if you have an FTP server, you can use FTP and you can also use others to back up to other computers and so on and so forth. Now, at this moment, I'm going to use the Asus Store NAS, which I believe that it's the one that it's best because I can back up to a local NAS, which in this case, it's the Asus Store 3304. So I can name whatever I want, plan one. This is useful if we have several computers and if we have several backups, and you will understand a little bit better as I will guide you through this plan. So let's just leave the name as it is because I'm not going to create more than one just one is enough it's scanning the network to see the available NAS units that I've got at this moment I've got only two connected the 24 terabytes full SSD and this one right over here so let's press next it will ask me for my username which I will see right here and usually on new devices while I'm testing also I always create a easy username and an easy password so that I don't forget now, create a new backup plan. We have three options right over here. Option one is backup once. Once I finish this, I will program to do the backup, but it will only do it once. I will have a full backup right over here at the state of the computer at that particular moment. That is it. It will not do 
anything more. Then we have other option, which is the synchronization. And this is very useful, but just a note that it can be dangerous in some situations. I've used it in a lot of scenarios. It's really useful if I want to synchronize two folders or two hard drives or two computers, whatever I want. But just have this in mind. Everything that I've got here on my computer that I, that I select, it will be synchronized with what I've got right over here on the NAS unit. So if I delete a folder, it will delete here. If I create a folder, it will create here. And also right over here. If I delete here, it will delete over there. If I create here, it will create over there so this is really useful for some certain cases if i'm editing videos on a fly on an external ssd which i do it daily and if i want to have a synchronization backup this is just great but the biggest issue is also the biggest advantage which is if i delete the folder for example it will delete the folder right over here and a few days later if i need that particular folder it will no longer be here and it will no longer be here. So just have that in mind. Now the next is scheduled backup, which is the one that I prefer. And I believe that this one is the safest one in case we want to have everything there. Now backup frequency once or daily, weekly, monthly or on program startup. Here I would suggest weekly if you are a normal user. If you are a really intensive user, then probably you select daily because you will have a lot of modifications on your files or if you don't have a intensive workflow then probably once a month will be enough for this example let's start with weekly i can select for example sundays but if i want to do more than once on the week i can also select wednesday so this is really really cool let's just leave sundays at midnight and this sounds great. Now, if file already exists, and this means that on the second backup, if the system detects that it already has the file that it's reading, what should it do? Skip if not modified or overwrite. Now, the biggest advantage here on leaving in skip if not modified is the system will detect that I've got a certain folder or a certain file that was not modified on the original system. So it will not modify and this will save us a lot of time if we ask to overwrite it will overwrite all the files even if the files were not modified so this i would leave it like this after plan completes it's just asking us if we want to shut down or do anything here i would just say none do nothing just a backup and stay as you are now we can press next and right over here we will have the option to decide what i want to back up so if i want to back up my video folder right over here i can or if i want to back up only one folder inside the captures for example i can and i press right over here and as you can see i've got some files right over here they are all mov files now this will be useful on the next step as i will show you but let's imagine that i want to back up my desktop only my desktop on a daily basis because i work really intensively and i've got everything spread around on my desktop which is something very common this will create a backup of everything that i've got on my desktop to the nas student on a synchronized base so i will have several backups divided by date and if i delete anything that i will need later on i can just grab it from here which is really really Cool. Now I can also select everything and I can just go right over here and say I want a full backup of everything. Having in mind that when we select the Windows C it will give us a note right over here that it's not intended for and does not support the backup of system files that are in use. So just have this in mind. Now let's, let's leave it as it is and press next and right now we just need to select which folder on our NAS unit we want to back up to. Now we did create a folder earlier on which was on public and it is the data folder. So let's use this folder as the folder of backup. So right now just need to press finish and what we have right over here is an automated backup of the folders that we selected on our computer which will be backed up to the NAS unit on the folder that I did select. Now if we take a look right over here as the plan name it is scheduled last backup we haven't done yet it will do on the 28th of July 2024 at midnight and it won't do anything. Now on the status we will see only if it's doing 10% or 20% it will show right 
here. And basically, this is it. So one of the four options available in terms of backup, which is really useful and free to use, as you have seen. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.